I began effectively photographing in 1912. But long before, come a young guy at the age of six or seven. I discovered in my relative in the country, uh, the attic, old calendars, a family magazine. German type the family magazine, house, the Gartenlaub, and you know, this type of thing. And uh, I've seen this very warm illustration. And I dreamed maybe one day, myself, I like to do something this. Andre Kerte's childhood dream has come true. He spent his life creating pictures. But little did he know then that one day he would be regarded as one of photography's greatest pioneers. His photographs hang in museums and have gained him the admiration of some of the master photographers of this century. Cartier-Bresson has said, we all owe something to Cartes. In Brassai, André Cartes has two qualities which are essential for a great photographer. An insatiable curiosity about life and a precise sense of form. Born in Hungary in 1894, Curtis can look back at a career which started 70 years ago when as a young man he captured the world which surrounded him. Teaching himself the art of photography, he developed his negatives in a large wardrobe in the attic of his grandfather's farm. What did interest you most? Everything. Human thing. Not only happening, but what is around the human thing, you understand? Home, shadow, happening, animal. The camera was for me a little notebook. It's a sketchbook. Nothing else, little sketchbook. And I projected the way honestly I feel. And instinctively began shooting and made many, many mistakes. <laughs> And effectively, with my mistake, I learned, developed myself the way I am. In 1912, everything what I did was exactly composed. I feel the photo is an art the way any other material is art. Painting or gravure or sculpture, art. Look, this was a regular, normal, everyday paysan who interested the music. He was the caretaker for my uncle. <laughs> you know the blind musician? The blind musician. I don't know what happened, but it was separated here. Yeah. Blind musician. You see, you look at the expression, this boy. It was absolutely fantastic the way. If he's born in London or Paris or Berlin, then he became an excellent musician. And you see this. Many photographs seem to come out of a dream rather than out of a reality. It's real. <laughs> Whatever. I don't can photograph. He may dream me. It is possible. I give the dream. I am the dream. Tone. You understand? I give the tone. At the beginning of the First World War, Cartes joined the Austro-Hungarian army. He took with him his most cherished possession, his camera. Wounded in battle, he was transferred to the medical corps, and during his travels, he photographed whatever and whenever he could. Oh, well, here is two photos what I want to show you. This is 1917. I was a health officer in this time, you know. And uh, between the trip, we stopped in Marburg, 
for 20 minutes, just before the market. So no problem, I go down, waiting a little and made the photo. You find a subject for photographing, or does the subject find you? The subject find me. <laughs> the subject find me. In 1925, another of Cortez's dreams came true when he encountered his favorite subject, Paris. It was love at first sight, a love Cortez has never forgotten and which brought forth some of his most memorable photographs. What I can tell you, for art for me, not for my generation, it was Paris, you know? I look on the window and immediately I see my first subject. <laughs> I want to do introduction for my Paris book. And uh, I think I'm ex expressing exactly the way I feel in Paris and what I did. Uh, J'écris avec la lumière. Et la lumière de Paris est ma bonne copine. Copain, with big, big C, O, etc., etc. This is Paris for me. But look, look at the closure, washing the leg. They got the set uh, shadow. The set the, the side uh, Notre Dame, you see? You don't get inventing this, no? This offering himself and you accept. Now this is a charming, charming memory of Paris. And this was another enclosure in the quay, sur le quay, going along, you know? The pissoir, how decorative. <laughs> you see? Look how decorative. And in the background, this girl, completing the picture. You never had to go very far for your photographs. You always seem no. to have found them at the doorstep. Up around, yes, the doorstep, you are right. Everything was happening around interesting for me. I have the relation, yes. Uh, born this way and very happy. This is one which you found at your doorstep, isn't it? This photograph there. Yes. Only I'm waiting for the right moment. In the movement. You understand? If you're looking, uh, usually in my photo, the exact moment I catch in, in the movement, I feel this is. You don't see, you feel the thing. Impossible to see. Here's something, here's something exact. I do this thing. This is, this is the only way. Here, yes, I may be waiting two, three moments. I did some other shot, was not enough for me, was not enough satisfactory. And I some after some other came on this. No? Do you know what the photograph will look like when Absolutely. you take it? Absolutely. I know exactly in the end, before I am doing, how I should come out. Absolutely. I know. Are you sometimes surprised what has come out? But look, if don't come out the way I want, I'm unhappy. <laughs> this is the only surprise. No, not surprise me. I know what I want. Voila well, the atmosphere, you know. Regarding the reflection here in the water, why I did, I like it. No other answer. Effective, the subject affaired himself. Mm. I profited. <laughs>